Hi, I'm Angela. Today I'm going to show you how you can band a horse's mane for Western horse shows. Um, traditionally, their mane does go to the right side in the Western classes, but if I had a thick horse's mane, I might just band them to the left. Uh, you want to make sure that you do it in a spot that's comfortable for your horse. So you could cross tie them or tie them. And if they're not comfortable with that, you could have someone hold them. You also want to make sure that you have good lighting for the, you to be able to band them and do a nice job. So we'll show you how to do that. Some tools that you might find useful for banding is a stool uh, to help you be at the right height for your horse. This one's nice because it has two different steps on it. Um, the three prong banding tool I use all the time for banding. It really helps me keep my bands even. Um, this nice little pouch here, it's helpful because it can hold your clips, uh, a little comb, and your banding tool as well. And then there's some other items that you might wish to use. Um, you could wet their mane with a sprayer or you could use quick braid. Um, also, you're going to need some bands. Generally, we band their mane with the color of band that matches their mane, but today we're going to show you an off color. Um, and also, this little comb here also has a nice clip on it. Okay, so now we're going to talk about banding the mane. Um, you want to make sure that the mane is an easy length to band. If it's too long, it's hard to pull through. So this is a good length to start with. We can always trim it later. Um, Traditionally, the manes do go to the right side for the western horses, but if I had a horse whose mane really wanted to be to the left and I thought it would uh, lay down nicer, I would leave it that way. We want to make sure that we trim or clip their bridle pass so that there's a definition between the mane and the forelock. To actually band, uh, I would usually use black bands in this horse's mane, but we're going to use white today just so that we can really see how we're doing it. I'm going to take that three prong comb and I'm going to stick it down through her mane um, at about a two prong width and then it gives me a nice straight line. I can take my clip, clip back the hair, and then that leaves me this hair here. With it, I'm going to take my bands. I keep them in my mouth, but you can keep them on your fingers as well. And I'm going to pull down on her hair as I pull up with that band every time I wrap it around. So I'm pulling down on the hair and up with the band. And I'm going to wrap it around as many times as I think that it feels secure, but I don't want it too tight that it won't slide. So I feel that's a good amount of times there. Then before I move on from this band, I'm going to go underneath, get piece of hair on either side and pull on it so it's nice and flat to her mane. So then I finish that band, take out the clip, and I can start again, go down two width, pull that nicely through, get rid of my comb, clip this hair back, and then start to wrap the band around. When I'm done, take the hair from underneath, pull again. So I've continued to band down this horse's mane uh, and you can see that my bands are, are a nice even spacing apart. Uh, that's from using that three prong comb. Um, you can also see that the bands are in a nice line down our mane. We want to make sure that the bands stay in a line all the way down. When I do wrap those bands around the hair, I do try and stack the elastic one on top of the other uh, instead of layering it down as I go. Um, as I said, we'd probably use black bands instead of the white, but the white ones are here uh, as a good example. Um, we would recommend to put a slinky on the horse overnight, band them the night before you plan to show and put a slinky on. That'll help ensure that those bands lay nice and flat. Uh, you can trim the mane beforehand, but you're going to have to give it a little touch up in the morning after you take the slinky off to just cut off any rough edges.